as QI part zero. Uh, my first video looks at planning an arch at, at the beginning, the initial setup. Um, my main city has enough resources to do that. Some of those uh, resources though are coming from ascended buildings and once those buildings expire, I won't always be able to do that. Um, so if you are able to do the arch immediately at opening setup, even if it takes every last penny of your supplies to do that, I that is the best way to go. Um, it's not just my opinion, it's it's math. Um, <laughs> so my, my other city though is very neglected. Um, you can see up here at the top what I'm starting out with in terms of resources. And it's pretty bare bones. I have three Vagabond libraries, so I'm getting an extra 15,000 in coin. And I have one Harvest Hub, so I'm getting an extra 3,500 in supplies. Um, I actually have more of those buildings in inventory. I just haven't taken the time to improve this, this city at all. Um, and I rarely play on it, for that matter. So, this is a good illustration of um, how you would set up QI. And you'll actually accomplish the same settlement that I have in my first video. You'll be able to accomplish that exact same setup at your first collection. So you'll be one collection behind, um, but it's very achievable for anyone, um, even if you start out with bare bones. So let me walk you through how that works. We're going to move our town hall up the same number of squares. There's four. We run our roads in all of the exact same locations off the top left corner. One, two, three. Move over to one, two. Off the bottom left corner. One, two, three, four. And on the bottom right corner, one, two. Okay. We're going to plant four houses. I recommend buying um, two expansions at the very beginning, and I always do them in the same location. If there are obstacles there, um, just remove those. Um, but it overall, it's better if you stick with those two locations. We're going to plant our second amphitheater here. Okay, so the there's two different ways to do it from here. Um, if we plant a third amphitheater in this location, we will have Euphoria for the next collection. And our collection would be four tile houses. Oh, let me change the color here. Four tile houses giving 93... 75 each and then eight butcher giving 93.75 for a total of 75,000 and on the housing we would get uh, I think it's 37 something 37 and a half from that collection um, so from here, the, the 75,000 plus the original 25,000 that we start off with absolute bare minimum is enough to plant your arch immediately on right at the first collection. Um, you'll use literally every single supply that you have. So you will have exactly zero supplies remaining. Um, but depending on how much you participate in the map, you should be getting some supply 
uh, rewards periodically as you as you go through those encounters. Um, so you should have a a small surplus of supplies, but absolute bare minimum. Worst case scenario, you have no QI boost in your main city. Um, you don't get a single supply reward from the map. You will still be able to plant an arch on the immediately on the first collection. So here's where this gets tricky. Um, we have enough resources to plant a tailor, right? And QI made that change pretty early on in the whatever. We would need uh, the extra population, but we have the space for a tailor right there, right? And the, there's that temptation, oh, I need I can see that I need supplies. The goal is to get an arch, right? And I can look at the bar and see that I need the supplies to be able to accomplish that. So the temptation is if you have enough population to plant a tailor, um, let's go ahead and do that right away, right? The problem is it costs 25,000 supplies to plant the tailor, um, plus coins. We have a surplus of coins right now, so that's not the huge issue. Uh, the main issue is that it costs 25,000 supplies, but it only produces 19,000 supplies on the first collection. So we're already at a deficit of 6,000 supplies. The other issue with this is planning the tailor requires more population. So currently we're unhappy. We have the space and the resources to plant an amphitheater um, to achieve perfect happiness. So we'll get the maximum collection on the first collection. But if we choose to use this space instead for a combination of additional happiness to get those supplies, then we're even farther behind on the happiness metric. So we're going to spend half of our collection uh, collecting and deleting unhappy buildings in order to balance that happiness. So best case scenario, we spend 25,000 supplies only recollect 19,000 of that on the next collection, best case scenario, but worst case scenario, and in reality, we're actually going to be getting partial collections of our butchers as well, um, because we don't have the happiness to, to complete that, um, the maximum collection right at the whack. Um, so from this point, if you buy these two expansions, you would just plant a third amphitheater in that empty square. Um, you would you would have 400 population provided, 400 consumed, demand for happiness, <clears throat> or sorry, 200 population provided, 200 consumed, demand for happiness would be 400, for the complete euphoric would be 400, um, so that third amphitheater would get you perfect happiness, parity on population and population consumption. Um, I recommend buying this this third expansion right below that it's up to you if you want to spend your shards that way i do recommend that though and from here our layout's going to be a little bit different we need one more tile house right here one additional road out of this so on our next collection now um, we'll get the neutral collection from one butcher and we're going to collect this one first because there's an empty space behind it that we can replace with an amphitheater so we'll get um, this is the supplies that we'll collect, 62.50, okay. Um, from this butcher, delete it, re replace with an amphitheater. Our happiness still isn't um, completely euphoric, but it jumps up to the happy uh, metric, which is 1.2 bo boost instead of the 1.5. Um, so that will be... 7,500 for the next um, butcher that we collect, which is going to be this one. 
6250 plus 7500. Uh, delete that butcher and collect and delete the tile house behind it. Uh, you don't have to plant a fourth amphitheater at this point. Just the act of deleting uh, that that tile house will get your happiness to the to the maximum level. Um, and then we'll finish collection. So you'll you'll have eight more butchers for a total of 75k at that point. So our total supply collection is eight eight. Sorry, my stylus kind of sucks. Seven fifty. Okay. Total supply collection. Um, that's why the that third expansion is uh, plus the twenty five that we start with. So we'll be we'll be at one thirteen total supplies, which is enough to plant the arch that we need, um, plus a little bit left over. So hopefully at this point, if you have been getting supplies from the map, you'll actually have enough leftover supplies to plant. Um, a tailor as well as an arch after the first collection, which is the baseline that I'm doing in my main city, um, titled phase one. So even bare bones, you should be able to accomplish that, uh, after the first collection, regardless of what you start with in your city. Um, the key to that is just buying this third expansion. You don't have to, but I do recommend it. It does speed up the process. Um, Coins, we already have enough coin to, to build the arch, um, as well as the coin to plant the tailor. So everything that you collect in coin on the next collection is just kind of surplus uh, towards that end. Does that make sense, though? Um, from there, once we, once we plant that arch, we'll plant the arch in the same place that I do in my uh, phase one and replace these two amphitheaters as well as the third amphitheater that we planted down here we're going to replace those with more butchers and tile houses with the amphitheater or with the arch in place you have enough happiness to justify six houses um so fill up the remaining space with more butchers essentially um because the supplies is still the thing that we'll, we'll be hurting on um you you can plant a seventh tile house if you want um, but just be prepared to delete that at your second collection in order to balance your happiness. So this is QI part zero for anyone who starts off QI with absolutely zero head start of any kind. Um, hope it helped. Talk to you guys later.